From paper to aluminum, glass and plastic, it turns out our plastic waste might not be as easily recycled. Last week, ABC 13 meteorologist Elise Smith showed us how the city of Houston manages recycling. And tonight, she shows us the recycling of plastics. Look around your home, your office, aisles of grocery stores. Plastic has made its way into so many parts of our lives, it's unavoidable. I think we've been spoiled. It's, it's kind of hard to imagine, you know, the world without plastics. And up to this point, the main way to manage our plastic waste is through recycling. The EPA reports that over 35 million tons of plastic was generated in the United States in 2018. Only 8.7% of that was recycled. So if you were to buy a 24 pack of bottled water, only two bottles would have been recycled using that ratio. Recycling for plastics didn't represent a real solution. Davis Allen is an investigative researcher for the Center for Climate Integrity, a nonprofit research group focused on raising awareness for what they call a, quote, plastic waste crisis. Their report, The Fraud of Plastic Recycling, claims that big oil and the plastics industry have known for decades that recycling alone can't fix our plastic problem. When these companies are continuing to constantly expand production of plastic products, they know that ultimately all of that plastic waste will either end up in a landfill, incinerated, or in the environment. Furthermore, Davis tells ABC 13 that the plastic industry used marketing campaigns to put the responsibility on the consumer to use less plastic instead of taking accountability for making it. The entire framing is basically what the industry has promoted to convince us that recycling was a viable solution. And those campaigns have worked. Often I will find myself taking my own reusable bag to the grocery store, right, to kind of minimize the plastics that I do bring home. But it's also nice to know that, you know, if I do have to, you know, accept some plastics that there, there are going to be some creative outlets to, to recycle it in, in the future. As for those creative outlets, we know major oil companies have technology to recycle plastics. We reached out to companies within the plastic industry to get a behind the scenes tour and were either denied access or didn't hear back. We still want you to see this technology. Next, we're taking you to the University of Houston's engineering lab, where you will be able to see for yourself some of these processes that actually recycle plastic. Then you can decide whether or not these recycling methods for plastic are worth it or will curb our plastic waste consumption.